हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल यू माइट हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम योर सीनियर और मैनेजर टू यूज द ऑटो नंबर फंक्शन वाइल डिस्कसिंग ऑन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन और परफॉर्मेंस ट्यूनिंग फॉर एनी क्लिक एप्लीकेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी बेसिक्स ऑफ ऑटो नंबर फंक्शन वी विल सी वॉट इज द सिंटेक्स हाउ इट वर्क बिकॉज इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कवर एवरीथिंग इन अ सिंगल वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस टॉपिक इन थ्री टू फोर वीडियोज आई विल शो यू how this function can be used in a real time project so first of all let's see the syntax as per the help file of click auto number function is actually a script function so you cannot use it at the front end this function will return a unique integer value for each distinct evaluated value of expression the syntax is auto number expression and auto id here expression is the first parameter which could be anything it could be expression or dimension or string or numeric value etc this function is mostly used on primary key or say complex key or composite key to reduce the memory usage of your click application mostly i have found this function for improving the performance but yes it is definitely reduce the size of your application if you have associated more tables using the concatenated fields we will see the example and we'll see how this function works so to understand how this function works i have created a sample data of sales for five different customers now i will implement auto number here so i will say auto number i want auto number on customer field because the second parameter is optional i am not going to pass second parameter at this stage and i will say customer id and now i will load this data and at the front end i will add this customer id in a table so i already have created one table where customer and sales data is there now i will add the customer id so we will see how this function works auto number function works based on the load order so here triple a loaded first so customer id will be 1 for triple a 2 for triple b 3 for triple c etc so if we change the order and we load triple c triple d triple e triple a and triple b something like this and we use the auto number function on customer then triple c will get id first so now you can see triple c is getting id as first and triple d as second so auto number function always works based on the load order means order of the data load now if i will add few more lines and if i will say something like this so now for every customer we have more than one line so what will happen with the line number 6 here where triple c has got sales 1250 let's load and let's see at the front end even though the customer names are duplicating click auto number function will not create another records for the same customer it will give unique identifier so even though triple c or triple d is duplicating more than once it will assign only one unique integer so now we will see when and why we have to use the second parameter so to understand the second parameter of auto number function we will use this data we have data of customer product and sales i will create auto number for customer i will say customer id here and the same way i will create unique identifier for product and i will say product id now we will load the data and at the front end i will add product and product id 
let's create another table and in this table i will add product and product id and and we'll create another table for customer and customer id so what is happening here because we have used auto number function on customer and product without using the second parameter so what this auto number is doing it will first read the first line and we have triple a as a customer so triple a customer will get unique identifier 1 so triple a customer will get unique identifier as 1 now it will read tv because on the same line we have auto number used on product so for tv it will assign number 2 now it will go to second line triple b will be get unique identifier 3 because unique identifier 2 is already used for tv so for triple b it will be number 3 now for laptop it will be number 4 for triple c it will be number 5 for camera it will be 6 for triple d it will be number 7 for tablet for, for tablet it will be number 8 now we will see that for triple e it will be number 9 but for tv which was also product of line 1 so it will not assign a new unique identifier but it will use the same one so for tv we have number 2 but say your requirement is you want unique identifier in a sequence for customer and sequence for product in this case you have to use second parameter so here i will say customer and here i will say product so now once you load this you will get for customer id and product id the unique identifier will start from one and it will be in a sequence and this sequence will be integer value and it will be based on the customer and product load order so tv is one here if instead of tv if i will say camera here then camera will get number one because camera was loaded first so auto id is used to create multiple counter instances hope you understand how auto number function works in click in next video we will see why we have to use auto number function how the auto number function works on concatenated fields and what are the different ways of using auto number function please wait for my second video till then thanks and have a great day